Morning. At the Harry Kazarian Elementary School in Providence, the Rotary Club of Providence hosted a Patriots Super Bowl champion and free copies of his new children's book. Former Patriots receiver Malcolm Mitchell, who has turned his post-career emphasis to the importance of reading for the young, helped to bring lots of smiles and excitement while discussing the importance of reading thanks to the efforts of the Rotary Club. It's amazing to see the community wrap themselves around any uh, elementary school or primary school. It's what really gets everything moving in the right direction, that community support. He worked really, really hard both on the field and in his classrooms to be successful. And uh, we're really excited to have him here to share this wonderful book that he wrote and to uh, just tell you a little bit about his life. So uh, let's have a good Kazarian Eagle welcome to Mr. Malcolm Mitchell. The deal is, I promise to make sure you have a ton of fun while I'm here. But you have to promise when it's time to listen, you'll listen. Do we have a deal? Yeah! And realizing when you make reading fun, kids will read more. So what's more, fun than bringing in a magician to entertain the students. I like the favorite trick he did on the invisible balls, what he did on the cup and then the, the red and the last one on the red one, it actually turned into a real ball. Okay. Okay. It had my favorite teacher in it and then suddenly the orange juice just, it turned into an orange and that was surprising. And I love to play football as a kid. I love playing football, and football has done some amazing things for me. Like I was able to play with the Patriots, who I love, and I actually went to the game yesterday and watched them win. Uh, growing up, I struggled with reading, um, but I learned that if I practiced reading as much as I was practicing football, we get easier. And the rewards of reading are so fruitful that I just believe everyone should do it. In order to succeed, you have to read. Perfect. But I understand how challenging reading can be. Now, my biggest challenge in life was reading. I was terrified of reading when I was your age. But today, I would like to do something with you to overcome my fear, and hopefully it helps you overcome yours. I would like to read the book that you all have aloud to you. But I'd love for you to follow along with me. Can we do that? Yeah with the students getting to hear the author of their new book actually reading that book to them. Yeah, it's been quite a journey. Starting off as a, a non-reader, then getting to the NFL and transitioning to an author has been quite, a, quite the journey. Once upon a time, everyone thought I hated to read, but that's just not true. I'll never find my very favorite book in the whole wide world. My favorite part of the book was that at the end of it, it had it like he made his own book, and it was this book that he made. It was it kind of like a surprise ending that all of a sudden he wrote the book? Yes, it was very surprising to me. Yeah. Does that make for a good book when something surprising kind of happens in the book? Yes. Because it shows how he couldn't find a book, so he had to make one himself and show it to the whole classroom. I struggled. But soon my words began to flow. The pictures I drew danced off the pages. Everyone, and I mean everyone, can have a very favorite book in the whole wide world, even if they have to write it. How about you? You ever thought of making your own book? Not really, but since that inspired me to, I want to. I just want to write a book about me, how I would act in certain situations. I, was, I just want to write a book that's called me. My yeah. favorite book in the whole wide world. What'd you think of it? Yeah, I really liked it because um, he followed his dreams and he succeeded. To practice reading just as hard as you practice other things, like playing sports or playing video games. Learning how to read is actually almost the main answer to everything. You have to read math problems. It makes me really happy and I can read it, I can read it after school. It's the Rotary Club here in Providence that ensure that you have all of these books that you get to take home and have as long as you want to keep it. So we're gonna look this way. Rotary, can you please put your hands in the air? Thank you! Happy with you having your own book? Yes. yes. And now with the help of the Rotary Club, Malcolm is now a member of another winning team, the team at Kazarian Elementary School.